were just sitting here cruising in a big wagon. Just leaving the Menards. Looking for a hammock or something. Checking out for some more fire cooking things. Grills or whatever. It's something like you can spin over a fire pit and cook on. You know, I just don't think this car gets enough recognition. Period. This whole long hood. Look at that thing, man. Look at all that room back there. She just loves this car. Huh? The Dollar General? Yeah. For what? There's like four in this town. It's weird. Headed over to Lowe's now because the only. Yeah. What do you call it? A string hammock? You know what I'm talking about, right? Those ones. Is one that's there last year and it looked like it was wet and had been open. Last year was like the package was moldy and the thing was wet and like swollen. Like somebody used it once, it got rained on and they didn't want it anymore, so they took it back and it's still there. Probably overpriced. So, cruise over here, see what's good. A big wagon. Because uh, we're on a staycation. We, we rented an Airbnb. It's a pretty nice Airbnb. And uh, feels like home, she says. That's what we're doing. We rented our home for an Airbnb for the week. We're so dorky. I'm on the show, on the Chad Deegan YouTube channel. into the pilot over here and uh, getting some fuel filling up for the beginning of the week because that's about all it's going to be and we're running about uh, 605 on the, the sign out there 599 is what it came to once I did the com data card I'm gonna look up real quick and see what the actual discount is I'm getting I, I'm not getting very good of a discount for some reason um, we're not even getting the discounts we used to, so it's kind of, it sucks. And for some reason, the discount isn't popping up. Okay, here we go, Pilot. 572, that's what we're getting at. That's still freaking expensive. And um, unfortunately, we're not gonna make it to the Ashland show this coming up weekend because of the fuel prices and stuff. It just isn't feasible for me in my head to spend. It cost me uh, 120 plus. 120 plus dollars just to get over there just to get over there and then coming back it cost me that plus some because who knows what the price is going to be by this weekend if the stuff keeps going up so sounds like the tanks kicked off let's get out real quick so we are not going to be at the ashland show i'm sorry folks it just doesn't make any sense to me in my mind to spend over 300 dollars to go sit at a show for one day it's nothing personal don't take it the wrong way it's just me, it's not you. Besides, I got a lot of stuff I need to do around the house and things I need to do to get trucks. So, um, yeah, we're not gonna make it this year. Uh, hopefully we'll make it in future years to more shows. I'd like to, but um, I'm not gonna give in to the man and pay their prices to go and do the things like that. If I gotta sit around the house and do shit around there uh, this year again, like I had to the last few years because of the COVID debacle and you know the government trying to put the squeeze on us, Ain't happening. I'm not gonna deal with it. So it's what it is. I have a staycation. I can't take no more vacations because I'm having a staycation. By 28, 88 gallons, and I'll probably pump some more and just to top them off. But that's not cool because 
for what the fuel surcharge is going up, still not covering it, man. When I used to make four thousand dollars a week and then have a thousand dollars taken out for fuel, and I'd, I'd bring home three grand. Now, if I make four grand, if I gross four grand after fuel, I'm, I'm lucky if I bring home twenty-three hundred dollars. That's putting a big cut in my pocket. One of these days, me and everybody else who's owner operators, and hopefully the mega carriers get in line too. We're gonna get pissed and just shut down. Then everybody who needs supplies ain't gonna get them because we are not gonna deliver. So that's what we end up at. I end up filling the tanks up top and I'm off 600. 100 gallons, 600. Horrible. Horrible. Well, hopefully you can hear me. This ain't too wobbly because it looks like it's kind of wobbly. I don't know. But um, another reason we ain't going to Ashland is because June 18th is me and Kim's fifth year wedding anniversary. So we're going to do something together and not sit at a trunk show. It's nothing personal. I hope nobody takes that the wrong way or not. You know what I mean? It's just we got to do sometimes for us what we need to do for us. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, just cruising down the road at 16 miles per hour right now. Sounds pretty good. Just on the super hot this week um like 95 plus a couple days three or four days we've got a heat wave coming on so i'm just going to uh probably work around the house and try to get as much stuff done on the trucks as i can i'm gonna try to take advantage of some dry heat maybe do some painting you know what i mean dry heat no wind hot ass luck we're gonna do some paint probably so um uh, we'll see what goes on this week should be a good week but yeah i'm only gonna probably start running maybe three days a week and that's it because of the prices of fuel and stuff like that it's just i don't know man it's just irritating to me when a jar of mayonnaise goes from like two two dollars and a quarter to 488 within like three months um there's something going on that uh we all should be worried about but some people act like it's not a big big deal they're just like oblivious to the fact of what's going on and um i've not I've been aware of it for the last few years since i took over my own destination with um you know the whole truck situation and being an owner operator and whatnot so it's just what it is i guess but yeah we're just cruising we got to go over to the papa's yard later and grab a couple trailers so it should be interesting because it's slim to none over there there's one trailer sitting over there that auto had problems with last week or two weeks ago that he had to have his son come and pull him out because um, the thing just was stuck and his truck just got buried in the stones and dug holes. He's like, dude, fill those holes in and take some boards. I said, I'm not taking shit with me. If I can't get it, I'm not going to pull it. I'll tell him there's nothing I can do. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pay to get pulled out of somewhere because I got stuck in a stone shitty lot that nobody takes care of, you know? That's why 90% of the time, if it's that bad, I just won't go over there and deal with it. I just don't want to. It's, it's not feasible for me. Hold on. Yeah, I'd like to um, get this reservoir moved around too. Obviously, I still haven't got that one yet from the place I ordered it over a month ago. So it's like it's BS, but I do got some radiators. I've got two radiators in the garage. I just need a piece of equipment that I can rent to get to the house that I can lift them out because there's no way I'm muscling them out of the truck. So I need to lift them out take them, redo them, swap all the stuff up while it's hooked up still, hook it back up, drop it in, hook everything back up. That's what needs to happen. Which I can go over them and the differences between them when I get back home today so you can see the differences and then in the future we'll be doing that stuff because that needs done too. But now we're just cruising right now, you're probably getting wobbled around really bad. Sorry. So I'm getting ready to head over to Papa's yard and I figured I'd get you over here because I've stopped and taken pictures with this truck before. And uh, I'm not sure if this is the same guy that owns the International or not, but he's got this little K100 over here. Um, it's an E because it has the square headlights. Not exactly sure of the year, I couldn't tell you. But it's about the same wheelbase and everything and setup as uh, the blue truck here we're in, except for... Um, Looks like the battery box is under on the driver's side instead of the um you know opposite side of what this one is so who knows what kind of engines in there i'm not going to get out i'm just going to show it to you from here right here that's it and um you know just let you get your eyes on it i have like i said i have taken pictures next to it before so i could use a bath and some tlc a little bit of cleanup but other than that because there's um 
some stuff on the roof there if you can get your eyes on it. Look at that shit. Hey, man. Where's your truck, man? When I wash my truck, I get on top of it. I climb up here to get the stacks. He obviously doesn't do that, so it's what it is, though. I mean, he does have his wheels nice and fresh, though. Fresh white paint. Historical. Not for hire. It's pretty cool. If I knew who it was, I'd do more of an interview with it and stuff like that, but I don't know who owns that. I think maybe the same guy that owns the um, International might be the same fella. So maybe one of these days, if I catch one of these guys from around here that run out of this place, I get will get information um, on who owns them and maybe do an interview with them. That way I can get inside and check it out. Because uh, I'd like to see the interior of it just for shits and giggles because that's the kind of guy I am. Because, I mean, other than, like, a little bit of TLC with the paint, the thing looks like it does, it has, you know, surpassed the time, the test of time, and it looks pretty well put together. God, look at that hair. What a mess. I don't know where my hat is either. It's back here somewhere, but I think I lost it, so I'm going to have to look for it. What up, folks? The next day. What's she talking about out there? The next day. I uh, made it through yesterday. Everything got my trailers I needed from Papa's, couple bangers i just didn't get the camera out uh something else going on so i just um did what i had to do but let's get our eyes on these radiators because maybe this week like i told you and i don't remember if i said it's me and kim's fifth year anniversary the weekend of um the ashland show that's why another reason why we're not going we're just going to do our own thing i think i said that i don't know i'll have to watch playback or something but uh here's a radiator in box from american radiator this came within four days when I ordered it, they had one sitting there, boom, come with the gaskets or the corks and um, the bolt, the hardware kit too. This is the one that came from four states. It's probably going to end up going in the blue truck. Um, I don't know if I'm right or not, but it's, it looks like it's a, you can get down there. One, two, three, four. Is that how the cores go? I don't know. I'm not a radiator professional and uh, first time I've ever done this. So this is going to get done here sometime. I don't know when. I, I just don't feel it i just don't feel it yet it's not a like i have to get it done priority you know what i mean i'm taking the week off i talked to dispatcher yesterday after um i had made you know the a couple of quick clips and stuff like that and i was on my way back to the point i just told her i said you know what with the way fuel and the price of that stuff is going i got my trucker style sean shirt on shouts to you bud uh with the way the fuel prices are going and stuff like that I'm going to run two days a week and that's it. I'm going to run Saturday and Sunday because that's when I can maximize my time in the truck and uh, get paid that 10%. So those are the only two days I'm going to work for a while until things kind of change. I told her, I said, it doesn't pay for me to be out there running and, and blowing a bunch of fuel when it just doesn't make any sense to me. And I don't know. I need some time off. I need a break. I need to work around the house. I need to do some stuff to the trucks that I've been wanting to do and putting off and things like that and just different stuff. I want to hang out with my wife. So, since you know, we're just going to have some staycations. So this week is uh, anniversary week. So that's how we're going to be doing it. Uh, we're getting ready to jump in the wagon and go buy some things because uh, we're going to go to Menard. She says for Father's Day, uh, there's a hammock I want. So I'm going to go get it and we're going to hang it and do some stuff. But yeah. That's uh, probably going to conclude this one, but hopefully we'll be back and we'll be doing some truck stuff and maybe some other things this week. I don't know. I want to be, I, I look at the Frankenstein and I think, man, what a gorgeous truck. What a beautiful piece of machinery. What a beautiful piece of machinery. And I don't really care what anybody says about that piece of machinery because you know why? It's mine and it's my baby. It's my creation, man. And the thing is killer. And um, so I need to do some things on this. I need to do some things on the blue chalk. I just need to do some things. But I've got to find the motivation and desire. Sometimes you lose that passion, but uh, we'll figure it out. Because, I mean, I got polishing to do and stuff like that on my rat rod, my raggedy rat rod here. So it's what it is. But uh, stay tuned because, you know, sooner or later we'll come back and we'll, we'll have some things going on about this stuff. But I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I know I need to do that stuff because I got two radiators sitting in there, so it's what it is. What? Yeah. You guys taking the shows and stuff? Yep, yep. So it's a 1960 what? 65. 65. Yeah, it's a 671 Detroit blower. Nice. With a blower? Yeah. Oh my God. That's freaking crazy.
original or did you guys restore it? Uh, we restored it. The interior was done when we bought it. Yeah. Uh, from a guy from Swanton. Nice. 2012 or 13, she bought it. And we did, uh, sent it down to the dealership. Uh, Stoops had me in line they did the paint on the cab. But yeah, we did everything else here ourselves. Nice, this is freaking awesome. The sharp truck. What's this one got in it? It's a 290 small cam. Oh, it'll probably scream. That's that's got 350. You guys probably heard me pulling in. Oh yeah. yeah You're like, good. what the hell is that? Yeah, I think it sounds good. It sounds real good. So we're trying to hopefully have the cab off of it here next week and send it out and get paint body work done to it. Right on. You got to keep the same um, no, scheme? No, I'm going to... Nice. So I'm gonna try to find a trailer like it. So, yeah, those are those are as tough to come by as the actual trucks. Yeah. That's cool though that you got those pictures yeah. and stuff. Yeah, my grandpa started business, and so kind of I like the old stuff. Right on. So that would be your third generation then. Yeah. Okay. Right on. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. It's, uh, there's a couple more in the books I'd like to find yet. Oh, so are you guys out of Finley then, yeah, Garner? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I always see you. Uh, when I worked for the Home Depot over there in JB Hunt, I always see you going in and out there. And I've seen you guys other places, but I didn't know you were actually out of Finley. Yeah, this is our main car only terminal. We have a uh, repair facility up in Freeport. Uh, this is our main terminal. We used to have a place down in North Carolina back in the day. Right on. That's yeah, cool. Actually, on 90 trucks and we shot 400 trailers out of this place. Right on. Cool, man. Well, thanks for talking to me. Yeah, man, get it in. Ooh, look at that dance, man. Look at that boy dancing. Woo. What kind of dance is that? What kind of moves are those? Your mom's moves. <laughs>